Hello there, welcome to Dartmoor Zoo. My name is Andy, I'm on the education team, and this is World Otter Day. Now, otters are an amazing group of mammals that are part of the mustelid family. It also includes animals like badgers, weasels, stoats and ferrets, so quite a few animals that we get in this country. So the otter family we've got here are called Asian short-clawed otters. And it's kind of easy to understand why, because they're from Asia. They've got very short claws that don't really go beyond the end of their digits. And of course, they're otters. Now they're a beautiful group. The family we've got here, there's 13 of them. We've got Matty and Jasmine, they're the dad and the mum. We've got Peanut, the older sister, River Rocky in Asia, and then we also have seven youngsters. So it's a very noisy, very, very smelly, and very adorable spot. Now, Asian short otters are the smallest species of otter in the world. Their scientific name is Aeonyx cinereus. That basically means no claws in grey. Again, kind of sums up the animal themselves. So living in and around rivers, a lot of the food these guys tend to eat tend to be shellfish. So things like crabs, oysters, mussels, various other crustaceans like prawns or shrimp. Here at Dartmoor Zoo, we feed them most of those, along with langoustines and crayfish. They absolutely adore prawn. Now tucking into those really tough shelled animals, they'll use their dexterous fingers to grip onto them and then their powerful teeth to munch in get into that juicy food inside. They're a very messy set of eaters, and when they're finished eating, they will play with their food. So the shells that are left behind, they'll juggle with them. They'll pass them to each other as toys, as gifts, as keepsakes. And the keepers here encourage them to play with different items, so we have Kong balls you might use for your cats or your dogs. Now, some of the threats that these otters face in the wild are largely to do with human activity. So, habitat loss or degradation, the land breaking down to be used for farming or for housing or for factories. You also have the issue of pollution, plastics and various other chemicals getting into the waterways, getting into the fish and the crustaceans that these otters will then eat. So they do take in quite a few different pollutants from the water and the woodland around them. They've also hunted excessively in the past for their fur and for their meat. And now there's more of an issue in the pet trade. These animals are taken from the wild in large numbers and are used in the exotic pet trade. Now ways we can help are by being really conscious over how much paper and beef we tend to use, being careful where it comes from, but also by not supporting the illegal pet trade and the pet trade of otters in the wild. So once again, thank you very much for joining us here today. My name's been Andy. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Thank you for joining us here today and happy Otter Day. Thank you.